Hey guys, what's up? Today we're doing an easy bronzy glowy look and to start that off we're using the Farsali Rose Gold Elixir and then moving right into the J1 Jelly Pack. And then I'm using the Kane and Austin Prime and Protect Mattifying Primer. And then throwing out a little of the Jouer Essential Lip Enhancer to moisturize my lips. Then we're gonna move right into foundation after a nice big smile, throwing my hair back. We're using the Jouer Essential High Coverage Cream Foundation in the shade Porcelain and the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow 24 Hour Foundation in Natural Buff. And then I'm gonna smear that on my face and blend it out with a beauty blender. Now I'm going to take the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Sand and I'm gonna put that under my eyes, along the center of my nose, on my forehead, eyes as a primer, Cupid's bow, and under my chin. I realize that for a lot of people this could be a lot of concealer, but this is what I am comfortable with. So you can always tailor my looks to how whatever amount of product that you're comfortable with. Now I'm gonna go in and set all of that with my Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder in Translucent. And I do bake with this. I like to uh, pack it on. I am oily in my T-zone and I really feel like baking helps, especially in the smile lines. Now I'm gonna be taking a big powder brush with the MAC Studio Fix Powder in NW25. And I like to put this on all over. I think it warms up the face, especially after that translucent powder, you can look kind of pale. So I do like to use this pretty close to my natural skin shade. And I do put it under my eyes a little bit as well. Now I'm gonna take the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette with a Morphe 511. And I'm gonna take that shade and buff it into the crease. This is the lightest shade I'm using, so I'm going to be buffing it out. Windshield wiper motions, circular motions to blend. Now I'm gonna take the Sigma E40, it's a little bit fluffier, and I'm gonna take that redder shade and I'm gonna also buff that into the crease, all the way from the inner corner to the outer corner. I like this shade, this is what I use to brown with my face. going to be taking the Morphe M573 with the next darker shade and I'm going to buff that a little bit lower in the crease than that redder shade. And then I'm going to take this shade with that same brush, the M511, and I'm going to buff that in. Now we are taking the M412. It's a little bit smaller at the tip with that darkest shade and I'm gonna start buffing that in on the outer V and then uh, blending it into the crease. Now I want this to be like directly in the socket. That's why I picked a pointier brush. You don't want this to be out there too far. You want it to stay right in the crease and then you blend it with a lighter shade. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of the original MAC Fix Plus and the Desi Katie Dose Eyeshadow Palette in the shade Suze. I love this shade, it's beautiful and it actually looks really cool after you spray some Fix Plus on it after, like when you're setting your makeup, it actually has a bit of a different effect. I really like it, it's super cool. So then I'm taking this lighter shade and I'm going to contour my cheeks with the NARS Eda brush. Honestly, I got this on eBay like six years ago. When everybody was raving about this brush, I got this brush on eBay. I don't know. 
I've had it, used it, love it for contouring. It's great. If you can get your hands on it, I really suggest it. It's lasted all this time. Now I'm gonna take the Morphe R2 to bronze in that bronzy shade in the NYX palette. And I'm gonna bronze up the skin. I'm basically trying to blend out the contour a little bit and bronze up my skin, make it a little bit warmer. Then I'm going to blend that out with a BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Duo Fiber Brush. Love that. And then I'm taking the Morphe R10 to highlight under my eyes and I'm taking the banana powder and the peach powder in the NYX palette and I am dusting that in the high points of my face. Now I am taking the Luxie 504 brush and I am going to put some blush on from the Tarte Blush Bazaar. This one's called Endless. I love this palette, I think it is fabulous. And then again, I'm gonna go in with my Duo Fiber Brush and blend that out. Now I'm going in with my Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil in the shade four, and I'm gonna quickly fill in my brows. I love this pencil, I use it every day. I use it for a natural look, I use it for a glam look. I love this pencil. It makes filling in your eyebrows so quick. Now I'm gonna be taking the Smashbox Spotlight Palette in Pearl, and I'm gonna be taking Turn It On Pearl with my Morphe M510. And I'm gonna put that on my cheeks. Then I'm gonna spritz my brush with some Max Fix Plus, just to give it a little extra right on the high points of my cheeks, and then on my nose, Cupid's bow, and a little bit on my forehead. Then with the M322, I'm going to take that and highlight the inner corner and the brow bone with the same shade. Then I'm gonna take the Desi Katie Dose Fuego Highlighter. And I'm just gonna throw that on just to give it a little bit more of a golder look. I did not spritz my brush for this. Then I'm gonna take the MAC Fix Plus in the Rose scent. I love this scent, it's so good. And I'm gonna spritz that all over my face. And then I'm gonna fan myself. And what I like to do is I like to pounce my beauty blender onto my face. I think it kind of blends out if there's any water droplets or anything, as well as blends in my highlighter. I think it kind of melts it into the face. Then I'm gonna take my Tarte Tardius Mascara. Got this in my boxy charm. And I'm gonna throw on a bunch of coats of that. I'm not using any fake lashes today, so I will be packing on the mascara. Do you like to put this on the bottom and top lashes? And I'm gonna take my E17 and the shade I use to bronze up my face. And I'm going to run that underneath my eyes. I am going to kind of build this up. I want it to be smoky, but I don't want it to be too dark. This is kind of a natural glam type of look. Then 
Then I'm gonna take this magnetic eye color in the shade Gilt and I'm gonna run that in my waterline. Kind of brightens and gives it a nice glowy, goldy look. Then I'm gonna take my Pat McGrath Crayon U. It's a black eye pencil. It's good, I like this. And I didn't think it was that expensive considering it was a Pat McGrath product. Then I am going to take my CoverGirl Clump Crusher Mascara. I'm gonna throw a little on my bottom and a little on my top. This kind of helps separate them, makes them a little bit more fluffy than um, clumpy. So this is a little check-in of our look that we have going on, nice and bronze and glowy. I'm gonna go do my hair. And we're back to do lips. I am taking the MAC Lip Pencil in Whirl and I'm gonna line my lips. I am gonna fill it in but not in the center. I'm kinda going for a nice ombre nude look. For some reason this pencil looks a little red on camera but it is a pretty browny type of nude. I actually really like this color. It's kind of like a your lips but better color. Then I'm gonna take the Jouer Lip Cream in Bare, and I'm gonna throw that on my lips, focusing it mostly in the middle and then gravitating outwards. I am not going to put this all the way out to completely cover the lip liner. I kinda like to mesh it together. And then over that, I'm going to use the Jouer Lip Topper in Skinny Dip. This stuff is bright. I love it, it's so sparkly, it's not gritty, it's a really smooth lip gloss. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. If you enjoyed watching, please subscribe to my channel and comment below what your favorite type of makeup look is. Mine is definitely a bronzy, glowy type of look, so I'd love to hear what yours is. Thank you for watching and we'll see you guys. I definitely do. It's glowy and pretty and I just love it.